Hi, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to juggle three balls. What we're gonna do is we're gonna not start with three, but instead we're gonna start with one. Now, what's really important before you even pick up the juggling balls is to make sure that you know where your peaks are. Having the peaks and knowing where your peaks are and knowing where you're aiming is really the most important part because consistency when it comes to juggling is really one of the most essential parts of good juggling. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise our hands as high as we can up in the air, not out, but straight up, and we're gonna make two peaks in the air. This is how high and how wide you wanna throw every time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up one ball and we're gonna throw to our peak. It looks like this. Now, it might take a couple throws to dial it in. You don't wanna to throw too high and you don't wanna to throw too low. Instead, you wanna hit your peak every time, making sure that you're reaching the peak and scooping under with every throw. What I mean by that is when you throw, you wanna act like you have a microphone in front of you. Now, a lot of people, when they throw and they first pick up a juggling ball, they throw over like this. And look at the arc that I'm making. Instead, what I wanna do is make sure that I don't throw the ball until my hand crosses my midline. So pretend like you have a microphone in front of you and you wanna scoop under with every throw. Scoop under and under. So don't release the juggling ball until your hand crosses your midline. Make sure that you hit your peaks on both sides and with your eyes, notice where my eyes are looking. I'm looking up at my peaks. Now some common problems that take place here is either stepping out in front or throwing too low. So what we're gonna focus on is making sure that we get consistency with our throws. The more we practice this, the better our juggling with two and three will become. So a lot of people, they spend you know five minutes working on this and they move on to the next step but that doesn't make a consistent juggler. What we're trying to do is take you from start to star and make sure that you understand the fundamentals of juggling. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that you scoop under, cross your midline, and hit your peaks. But also what we're gonna instill is the idea of practice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spend the next 20 minutes to 40 minutes working on this movement. Now, that might seem like a lot, but a lot of people skip this step, move on to two, move on to three, and they don't have this base fundamental movement down. They're stepping out in front of themselves, or they're throwing too low or inconsistently. What we're focused on is consistent throws, and we're gonna make sure that we have success with this step before we move on to number two. So, just to recap, we're gonna make sure we have a microphone in front of us, scoop under, hit our peaks, and stay consistent. Now, another thing that's really important is dropping your elevation and being consistent with your stance. Making sure that you're able to bend your knees just a little bit and have good balance. If you're standing with your feet too close together, you might be off balance. Or if your feet are staggered, it might not be the best position for you. Instead, having your feet shoulder width apart, having a slight bend in your knees, and hitting your peaks is really important. So one more thing with your eyes, look at the peaks when you throw. So just to recap, we're gonna have a microphone in front of us, scoop under when we throw, look at your peaks, focus on consistency, bend your knees, have your feet shoulder width apart, and hit those peaks. That's one ball juggling.